In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Thank you all for being here this morning. Thank you for watching. As we come, you can see we're wearing the green. Not because we have the Irish Priest Reunion tomorrow, but because it's ordinary time. So as we come to pray, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Please bow your heads and pray in silence for Joe David. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done, and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the book of Samuel. There was a certain man for, from Ramhatan, Elikon by name, a Zephite, from the hill country of Ephraim. He was the son of Jerohan, son of El Elihu, son of Tuha, son of Zup, and Hephamite. Hep he had two wives, one named Hannah, the other Paniah. Paniah had children, but Hannah was childless. The man regularly went on pilgrimage from his city to worship the Lord of hosts and to sacrifice to him at Shiloh, where the two sons of Eli, Hapana and Penias, were ministering as priests of the Lord. When the day came for Elkanah to offer sacrifice, he used to give a portion each to his wife, Paniah, and to all her sons and daughters, and a double portion to Hannah, because he loved her. Though the Lord had made her barren, her rival, to upset her, turned into a constant reproach to her, that the Lord had left her barren. This went on year after year, each time they made their pilgrimage to the sanctuary of the Lord. Paniah would approach her and Hannah would weep and refuse to eat. Her husband, Elhanah, used to ask her, Hannah, why do you weep? Why do you refuse to eat? Why do you grieve? Am I not more to you than 10 sons? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial song. To you, Lord, I will offer my a sacrifice of praise. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. O Lord, I am your servant. I am, I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. To you, Lord, I will offer sacrifice of praise. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. In the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem, to you, Lord, I offer sacrifice of praise. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, Lord, be 
with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. As he passed by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting their nets into the sea. They were fishermen. Jesus said to them, come after me and I will make you fishers of men. Then they left their nets and followed him. He walked along a little further and saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They too were in a boat, mending their nets. Then he called to them. So they left their father Zebedee in the boat, along with the hired men, and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us present the prayers of faithful, praying for Joel Dagon. We pray that all of us can become fishers and hunters of disciples, making disciples for Jesus as we present our needs. We pray for the intercession of St. Joseph, Hope of the Sick, patron of the dying, protector of the Holy Church. They guard us in these times of turmoil. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. Pope Francis, that he guide the church with wisdom and humility. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. That all bishops, priests, and deacons have the courage to speak the truth in these difficult times. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For the quad process that it builds the church by building disciples. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. That those suffering illness will link their suffering to the redemptive suffering of Jesus Christ for the salvation of the world. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we thank you for this new period of ordinary time. May we grow in our relationship with Jesus and become fishers and hunters of people and make disciples through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and good of all this holy church. May your people of nation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as a saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominion, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing to him of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And today I record from St. Bernard of Clairvaux. He said, The Eucharist is that love which surpasses all loves in heaven and on earth. 
You're indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, gracious we make holy. These gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and gave you thanks. He said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. Abide your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to your Son, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your life, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph our spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, and glorious martyrs, and all your saints, and whose constant intercession in your presence, rely for unfailing health. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity of Pilgrim Church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, Louis our Bishop, the Order Bishop, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. <laughs> through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And it is not to be temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the Holy kingdom, and the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look down on our sins for on the faith of your church and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. He's going. He's going. He's going. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you stand up on my way, but I will say the word and my soul shall be in you. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for each other. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacrament may also serve with lives pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Masters and go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.